being ridiculed for attending a classmate gathering with a monthly salary of 3,000. The system wakes up, give away the richest sister on the first day of check that I am. Chen Wei. Others can become stronger by working hard, but I am different. Signing in can make me stronger. Very strong. Keywords of the novel. Check in at the beginning, a wealthy sister without a pop dot up window, check in at the beginning, a wealthy sister. Download the complete TXT collection, check in at the beginning, a wealthy sister. Latest chapter reading. 1. Chapter 1 Delivery Upon Check-In You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Delivery Upon Check-In Empire Hotel The full moon is in the sky. I'm really here to attend a classmate's gathering. If you don't believe me, you can go in and confirm with my classmates. Is it interesting for us to waste time on such hot weather? Take a look at the time, it's 9.7. Chen Wei had been circling around the door for more than ten minutes, but the security guard refused to let him in. His lips were almost worn out, but people didn't even glance at him. Later, when he was really tired of listening, the security guard sighed and said, Kid, I've been working as a security guard here for almost seven years. What kind of wealthy person haven't I seen before? Don't you even take a look at what this place is, the number one hotel in Jiangcheng. Your whole body probably doesn't add up to a hundred yuan, right? Ask yourself, is this where you should come? His words were filled with disdain. I hope Chen Wei can leave on his own without increasing his workload. Dot. He looked at the various luxury cars parked around him, as well as the people coming down from them, with a mocking look in his eyes. Chen Wei really feels that his rebirth is quite boring. He was given a system gift package for his rebirth, but he couldn't remember the lyrics of his songs and didn't have the brain to start a business. He earns two or three thousand yuan a month, and it all depends on the boss's face. He's a grandson. At the age of twenty, I don't even have a wife, let alone a girlfriend. Take out your phone and find Sun Chang. The number you dialed is currently unanswered. Please try dialing again later. Open the text message again. February 20th, December 15th, 20 Sun Chang. Tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock, remember to come to the classmate gathering. February 21st, 20.58.31 Chen Wei. Well, I'm here. The security guard won't let me in. Come out and pick me up. Read, let out a sigh. Chen Wei turned around and planned to leave. Emergency braking. A sports car was parked in front of Chen Wei, and the window was lowered. The man took off his sunglasses and said, Isn't this Chen Wei? It's been a few years since I last saw you. You're really living in a dog's den. If I were a security guard, I wouldn't let you in either. Although I haven't seen Sun Chang for many years, he shares his kissing photos with various beautiful women on his social media every day and Chen Wei can't help but remember them. I made you laugh. Chen Wei gave a bitter smile, probably knowing why Sun Chang wanted to invite him to the classmate gathering. How dare I laugh at you? You were the little demon king who dominated the school back then. Look at this injury on my face, it still hasn't healed. Sun Chang snorted lightly. When I was young and reckless, I apologize to you here. Chen Wei only wanted to live a peaceful life and didn't want to offend anyone. Sun Chang's sports car cost at least 700,000 to 800,000 yuan, and he couldn't afford to offend him. Okay, for the sake of being an old classmate, I don't remember being a petty person, nor do I have the same understanding as you. How about this? You bow to me and call me Brother Chang. Those past grievances and grievances have been overturned. Sun Chang tried to suppress the smile on his face. Dot. Chen Wei. With both hands at the hem of the pants, slowly bend down and say, Strong. Checking environment name. Chen Wei age. 20 gender. Male occupation. 
Dishwasher identity confirmation completed, check that IN system is currently binding check in system. Am I finally enduring the hardships to the end? As an old bookworm of novels, Chen Wei certainly knows what this means. His crazy and explosive life is about to begin. The check that IN system has been successfully bound. Do you want to proceed with the first check that IN? Sign. Not signing is grandson. Successful check that IN, current check that IN times are one day, first check that IN reward. Richest sister, distributed, what is it? The richest sister. Chen Wei's head didn't turn around a bit. Bang. Damn it. Who dares to bump into me? Sun Chang was about to complain when he turned around and saw the luxury car worth over 30 million yuan. He immediately closed his mouth honestly. All of his family's assets add up, and no one has a car worth anything. Where dare I provoke? The car door opened, and a pair of snow dot white and flawless long legs first caught the eye. The woman has willow eyebrows and garlic nose, moist red lips, hair like a waterfall, and a slender figure that is not like words. Under the tight and narrow skirt, there is no excess fat visible. Goddess of Safety Su, Su Qinyue I heard Sun Chang spew out the words Su Qinyue in shock. Chen Wei has some impression that she is the richest woman in Jiangcheng. Sun Chang's car was hit by her, it's really unlucky enough. The mute ate Huanguyan and couldn't express his pain. Chen Wei is very worried now that after Su Qinghua leaves, Sun Chang will vent his anger on him. Coincidentally, Sun Chang also had this plan. We have to find a vent bag, he thinks Chen Wei is very suitable. Are you the one who dares to bully my younger brother? Su Qingyue's eyes were as cold as ice blades, questioning. Su, Mr. Su, how dare I bully your younger brother? Sun Chang looked bewildered. Surprisingly, even the younger brother of the richest woman in Jiangqing dares to bully. This Sun Chang is really brave. Chen Wei chuckled inwardly. Brother, did he bully you? Are you talking to me? Chen Wei turned his head and saw that there was no one around. Su Qingyue's younger brother can't be a hotel security guard, can he? I'm not talking to you, am I talking to ghosts? Su Qingyue said coquettishly. Ah. Uh. By the way. Check-in system. Chen Wei suddenly remembered that the reward he had just signed in for the first time was the richest sister can't it be. Is the richest woman in Jiangqing actually my sister? This happiness has come suddenly. Chen Wei, no, Chen Xiao, you are Mr. Su's younger brother. Why didn't you say it earlier? If you had said it earlier, I wouldn't have dared to cause trouble in front of you. Sun Chang's heart was hanging in his throat. I didn't expect Chen Wei to deliberately pretend to be a pig and eat a tiger. Now, there's a big deal going on. Good brother, what do you want to do with this guy? How about making his company go bankrupt and become a homeless person? Or selling it to South Africa to mine? Su Qinyue asked Chen Wei for his opinion. Can it be done? Sun Chang's heart instantly cooled when he heard Chen Wei ask. Quickly open the door, plop, and without hesitation, kneel down in front of Chen Wei, kowtow and say, Chen Xiao, I was blind before, Please don't remember the villain, let me go, let me go. The crying voice is very obvious. Seeing Sun Chang's appearance, Chen Wei only said, It's so satisfying. Sister, South Africa is not developed, and we need to help them to the best of our ability. I think your proposal is very good. Okay, I'll have someone book the earliest flight ticket and send him to South Africa right away, Su Qing Wei nodded. Then he picked up the phone and said, Hello, Fubo, regarding Shanshue Company, I want him to go bankrupt within three minutes. Then ask someone to book the earliest flight ticket, charter a flight if there is no flight, and send the chairman to South Africa for mining. Good brother, are you still satisfied with what sister did? Su Qinyue changed her serious demeanor and asked softly like water. Satisfied, so satisfied. 
The phone rings. What? I, I'm bankrupt. Sun Chong said in despair. If you want to read a great article, you must not miss it. Please collect it and receive free recommended tickets. Whether a new book can go far or not depends entirely on the appreciation and begging of the audience. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Come to our company to clean the toilet. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2. Come to our company to clean the toilet phone landing. Chen Xiao. Su Zong. Don't leave. Please show mercy and let me go. It's just for the sake of your classmates. Sun Chang said with tears in his eyes. If you dare to say half a word more, it will hinder my brother's decision. I guarantee that your fate will be even worse than now. The aura released from Su Qingyue's body was chilling. Dot. Sun Chang's words that had already surged into his throat were shattered and swallowed back into his stomach. Seeing this scene, where could the little security guard still show any hint of contempt on his face? Bow deeply and push the glass door open for the two of them. Sister. Chen Wei hesitated to speak. Why, do you despise your sister? Su Qingyue slightly withdrew and asked. There was no hint of complaining about Chen Wei on his face. It's normal for him to feel uncomfortable having such a sister out of thin air. No, I'm sweating all over. Your dress looks quite expensive, don't get it dirty, Chen Wei shook his head and explained. Sister, did I say the wrong thing? Chen Wei was a bit worried when he saw Su Qingyue standing still and not speaking Su Qingyue shook her head and leaned against Chen Wei's shoulder with a smile. No, I'm just happy to find such a sensible younger brother, she said give a snap of your finger. Mr. Su, may I ask for any instructions? The lobby manager hurried over and asked. The security guard at the door, I don't want to see him here again, otherwise your hotel wouldn't have the need to exist anymore. My sister, she's really cool. Yes, Mr. Su, I'll go handle it right away. Sister, suddenly having a younger brother like me, don't you think it's against the rules? On the way to the private room, Chen Wei finally couldn't hold back and asked. Do I need to feel conflicted? Su Qingyue asked in response. System Bullfork. All right, I'm not joking with you anymore. Su Qingyue reached out and gently twisted Chen Wei's nose. Then he asked, do you remember donating blood on the roadside a week ago? Chen Wei nodded excitedly and said, of course I remember. The little nurse was an intern and even drew a lot of blood from me. Su Qingyue covered her face and smiled, continuing to explain, your blood type is very special, just like my mother's. How special is it? Chen Wei was curious. Never choose one, Su Qingyue replied. An auntie. Are you still called auntie? Su Qingyue glared angrily. Sister, when you say my blood is the same as my mother, do you mean? My blood saved my mother. Why are you so smart? Su Qingyue insisted, that's right. If it weren't for your blood, my mother might just. Chen Wei extended his hand and gently patted Su Qingyue's shoulder. Su Qingyue leaned closely and said, Me, no. It's our mother. She's in good condition now, and she won't be discharged soon. We're not thinking about how to repay you. Upon investigation, your background. So my mom and I decided to be your family. Of course, if you're not willing, I can also give you one billion yuan, or a company to ensure that you don't have to worry about food and clothing for the rest of your life. Su Qingyue offered another option. Although she likes this younger brother very much, she can't force him, can she? Billion. Sister, in fact, I donated blood to get it, but nominally it was signed in for delivery. If you refuse Chen Weika has read many novels, and the protagonist was ultimately struck to death by lightning due to rebellious systems. No, I choose to be my younger brother. Money is nothing more precious than family ties. Chen Wei's eyes were full of determination. 
good little brother. 402, that should be it. Take a glance at the door number. After careful consideration, Chen Wei decided to say, Sister, can we maintain a little distance? Don't misunderstand me. I've never had contact with such a beautiful girl before, and I'm a bit nervous. I'm afraid I'll make my classmates laugh later. Such a beautiful girl. As the most beautiful CEO of Jiangqing City, Su Qinyue has heard this before, but when it comes to Chen Wei's mouth, why is it so pleasant to hear? Okay, I respect your thoughts. Su Qinyue let go and took a step back, is that enough? That's enough, Chen Weizhong emphasized. Accompanied by heavy sounds. Chen Wei withdrew the door of the private room. Everyone instantly focused their attention. Which old classmate is here again? How? This outfit. So, did you take the wrong private room? Although they did not recognize Chen Wei. However, Chen Wei recognized many people at a glance. Jiang Dachuan, Xiong Lin, Lu Qi there are many people here who, while studying, are all brothers and sisters. Wait. You shouldn't be Chen Wei, right? Suddenly, Jiang Dachuan spoke up. De Chen, do you still remember me? Chen Wei was somewhat surprised, and a bright light appeared in his gray eyes. Don't misunderstand, I just heard from Sun Chang that your kid has been doing all sorts of dirty and tiring work for a month, earning a salary of 3,000 yuan in their company. Jiang Dachuan is at least a social celebrity now. Even if he recognizes Chen Wei, he cannot be related to him. Isn't this self-deprecating? 3,000 yuan. The lowest among us is 10,000 yuan per month, right? I didn't expect the former little demon king to end up like this, hee hee. All right, you call me Zhao Gu, and I'll give you 4,000 to come and clean the restroom in our company. Classmates, am I righteous enough? Mr. Zhao is truly righteous. Chen Wei's value in the eyes of these people seems to be nothing more than making them burst into laughter. Smiling for ten years is still somewhat valuable. Dot. Chen Wei. Wait, do you think the woman next to Chen Wei looks familiar to you? Damn it. Su, Su Qinyue, is she our old classmate? After one person discovered Su Qinyue's existence, everyone focused their attention on her. Zhao Li came to Su Qinyue with a glass of wine and greeted him, Hello Mr. Su, I am the deputy general manager of Biyue Company. Zhao Li, nice to meet you. Pop. The atmosphere of the whole room instantly fell silent. No one expected that Su Qinyue would actually attack Zhao Li. Feeling the burning pain on his face, Zhao Li dared not speak in anger and tentatively asked, Mr. Su, shouldn't I offend you in any way? Su Qinyue was as cold as ice, treating him as air. She took out her phone and dialed the phone number of the CEO of Biyue Company, saying, Zhao Li is from your company, right? He dares to insult my younger brother. It would be best if you could give me a perfect solution, otherwise I may need to reconsider your company's cooperation application. Almost as soon as he put down his phone. Zhao Li's phone rang, it was the president of Biyue Company calling. Zhao Li trembled with both hands and answered the phone. Before he could speak, he was already scolded in full. Mr. Zhang, you can't just dismiss me like this. I have been serving the company for so many years without any merit. Hello. Hello. Zhao Li insulted Su Qingyue's younger brother. Give him a hundred courage, he wouldn't dare to do so. Can't it be? Thank you for the recommended tickets from all the experts. Collecting them is beneficial. Here's the update. End of this chapter. 3. Chapter 3. Sign 1 Send 3. 4. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Sign 1 Send 3. 4. Everyone's gaze instantly returned to Chen Wei. Although it was unbelievable, there seemed to be no other way to think of a better explanation. Chen Wei is the richest man in Jiangcheng and the younger brother of the famous Su Qinyue. 
Mr. Su, I really don't know when I offended your younger brother. It was me who had no eyes, so please let me go and save my life. Poor Zhao Li didn't even know how he died. I don't feel relieved just by firing you, younger brother. What else do you want to do with him? Su Qingyue handed over the choice to Chen Wei. At the moment when Su Qingyue's gaze fell on Chen Wei, Zhao Li was dumbfounded. Chen Wei, is it Su Qingyue's younger brother? Didn't he want me to go clean the toilet? Sister, is our company responsible for cleaning the toilet? Upon hearing Chen Wei's words, Zhao Li finally confirmed that he was Su Qingyue's younger brother. I hit the muzzle myself. Brother, it's not like you're a sister. If you ask him to clean the restroom in our company, it's not like punishing him. It's called a reward, Su Qingyue reminded with a light smile. Sweeping the toilet. Rewarding. Chen Wei was somewhat confused, obviously not understanding the meaning beyond Su Qingyue's words. His original salary was 12,000 yuan per month, while the monthly salary of our company's toilet workers was over 15,000 yuan. Even the monthly salary for cleaning toilets is over 15,000 yuan. It can be imagined how terrifying the financial resources of this wealthy sister are. Upon hearing Su Qingyue's words, Zhao Li quickly nodded and said, I am willing, I am willing to clean the toilet. Please, Mr. Chen, Mr. Su, give me a chance. Want to clean the toilet? Sorry, you don't have the qualifications. Chen Wei said coldly. Then he turned his head to look at Su Qingyue and said, Sister, it's up to you to decide. I'll listen to you. Just as the plane hasn't taken off yet, let him go to South Africa with that son and son Chang to mine, right? Okay, Chen Wei nodded and agreed. What? Even Sun Chang, who was worth millions of yuan, fell through. Viagra, long time no see. Here, I'll give you a toast. At this moment, Jiang Dachuan came to Chen Wei with a drink, wanting to establish a relationship with him. Do we know each other? Chen Wei's words made Jiang Dachuan petrify on the spot. Sister, let's go home. It's okay not to attend this classmate's gathering. Okay, we'll all listen to you. Before seeing Su Qingyue's adorable head resting on Chen Wei's shoulder, who would have thought that the rumored iceberg CEO would also have such a side? Everyone feels embarrassed when you look at me and I look at you. I thought Chen Wei was just an insignificant little character, a joke, but who knew, the fact was that he slapped and swollen all their faces. Come on, Classmates, let's continue drinking and get drunk. Before Jiang Dachuan could finish speaking, the hotel manager had already walked up with a group of people and interrupted, Sorry, you have been blacklisted as users by Imperial Restaurant and will never be received. Please leave now. Dot. Jiang Dachuan. The atmosphere hasn't heated up yet, it just dropped to freezing point. On the car. Sister. Thank you for helping me save face in front of those same people. Chen Wei sincerely thanked me. We're all family, what do we say thank you for? If they don't give you face, they won't give me Su Qingyue face. Who dares to bully you in the future, Su Qingyue will never spare him lightly. Su Qingyue patted her chest and promised confidently. Is this the feeling of having family? Hmm. Chen Wei smiled and nodded. However, Su Qingyue's thin lips lightly parted and she hesitated to speak. But, sister, tell me, I'm mentally prepared, Chen Wei comforted. Okay, Su Qingyue nodded lightly and said, Mom, I'm not the only daughter. In fact, besides me, you also have three older sisters. There are also three older sisters. By one. No, sign one and get three free. My second sister, also known as your second sister, should not be unfamiliar to you. Her name is Su Meiyu. Su Meiyu, that superstar. Chen Wei even stayed up late to pursue the TV drama she starred in, which was stunning, but it was definitely not a vase. Her acting skills were no less impressive than those of those veteran actors, 
and at a young age, she had already won the Best Actress Award twice. That's right, it's the Su Meiyu you know. Then there's your third sister, Su Mengdai. This name may seem unfamiliar to you, but when it comes to her pen name, you will definitely have an impression that you will be amazed for a lifetime. Promise you a lifetime of glory. That platinum genius female writer from the starting point, a coding maniac with a daily turnover of 20,000 yuan and an annual income of over 100 million yuan, each work has become extremely popular, both in film and television, and in manga. Just as the new book had just decided on a title, it was crazily reported by many media outlets, with hundreds of publishing houses and film and television companies vying to purchase the copyright coincidentally, the drama that Chen Wei stayed up late to pursue was written by her. Such a remarkable figure, she is also my sister. Then there's your third sister, Su Yameng. Speaking of which, she was born on the same day as you, about half an hour earlier than you, right? She is a broadcaster, and her nickname is not Arrogant. Dot. It's not arrogant. Although slightly less popular compared to the top two, at least she is also the first sister of Tiger Shark Live, with millions of followers. It is said that for a live broadcast, there are at least millions of rewards. At its peak, he once achieved a feat of blocking millions of gifts for two hours, but was criticized by a certain daily newspaper for being in a mess. Sister, you. Our mother's genes are also too excellent. It's my shame, by the way, what does mom do? Lin Chiyo. Lin Chiyo. Bang. Chen Wei stood up excitedly, took a deep breath, covered his head, and said, hiss. It hurts so much. Are you okay? Su Qinyue gently rubbed Chen Wei's head, worried. It's okay, Chen Wei raised his hand and wiped away the tears from the corners of his eyes, confirming, is it that peerless singer, Lin Chiyo? That's right, it's her, Su Qinyue affirmed. Dot. If it weren't for awakening the system, Chen Wei Jen wouldn't have had the face to stay in such a family. Because my sister, and my mother, are both so awesome. By the way, we haven't talked about the main matter yet, Su Qinyue said. For now, besides me, your other three sisters are treating you. I understand now, they can't accept it for the time being. Do they have an extra brother like me? Chen Wei is not a fool, he can guess. Well, don't worry, even if they don't recognize you as my younger brother, you will always be my younger brother, Su Qinyue reached out and hugged Chen Wei into her arms. So soft. So warm. Sister, if you keep doing this, I'll be suffocating. Ha ha ha, I'm sorry. Upon hearing this, Su Qinyue immediately let go and suggested, let's go to the mall to buy you some clothes, and also buy some gifts for them to improve our relationship. Okay, listen to my sister. Seeking collection, recommended ticket support. Thank you to all the experts for their recommended tickets and support comments. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 I can't afford it, but my sister can. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 I can't afford it, but my sister can Mingzhu department store. As soon as Su Qinyue appeared, she became the center of attention. Men's gaze could not easily leave her, and even women couldn't help but have thoughts of wanting to be intimate with her. Having such a top-notch beauty sister, it must be admitted that Chen Wei is under a lot of pressure now. Obviously, many people see him as the only disharmonious presence around Su Qinyue. Who is that kid? Why can he be so close to President Su? Wow! I envy you so much. A person's previous life must have saved the world, no, it's the Milky Way. Did your previous life save the Milky Way? If it were someone else, it might not be possible to answer this question with certainty, but Chen Wei is different. He remembers clearly that in his previous life, he was very ordinary, even unlucky, otherwise he wouldn't have had a car accident, sister, go help them choose some gifts they like. After you choose the clothes, I'll come back to pay the bill. 
Su Qinyue took Chen Wei to a trendy brand store and reminded him repeatedly before leaving. Got it, sister. Chen Wei felt like he was being treated like a child, but it didn't feel bad. Looking back at this trendy brand store that he had seen before and could only take a detour, Chen Wei couldn't help but sigh, having a system is good. A day of awakening is worth my twenty years of effort. Enter the store. Although his sister is the richest man in Jiangcheng, Chen Wei also has self-esteem and cannot spend people's money recklessly. He plans to choose a few cheapest clothes and repay Su Qinyue well when he has the ability in the future. At least for now, we cannot let the other three sisters underestimate us. Welcome Light Entering the store, the clerk's face was full of smiles. But when he looked up and saw Chen Wei's outfit clearly, he flipped his face faster than flipping through a book, full of disgust and said, Sorry sir, we are a high.end clothing store here. If you want to buy clothes, please go across the street. There is now a 30% discount and clearance sale. This society is really realistic enough. No, I'll buy it here. Chen Wei remained firm in his attitude. Buy it here. Can you afford it? The salesperson chuckled, originally planning to persuade Chen Wei to give up. Who knew this guy was so ignorant? Why do you think I can't afford it? Chen Wei asked curiously. The salesperson looked up and down and said with reason, your total is definitely not more than 100 yuan, and your monthly salary should be around 3000 yuan. And our cheapest pair of pants is worth more than half of your salary. Do you think you can afford it? I can't afford it, but my sister can, Chen Wei replied. Sister. What is your sister? Be sensible and leave on your own, otherwise I'll call the security guard, the shop assistant sneered. My younger brother is dressed in such a poor and impoverished way, but no matter how rich my sister is, where can she get rich? Da da da. The rapid footsteps of high heels touching the ground. Su, Su Qinyue. The shop assistant often sees Su Qinyue's cover photo in Fortune magazine and recognizes her at a glance. This is a big shot. As long as the business is successful, you can earn a year's salary on this day. Su Xiao. Pop. Feeling the piercing pain on her face, the shop assistant was very confused. What did she do wrong? She doesn't remember where she provoked Su Qinyue, and she doesn't have the courage either. Brother, there are many things in this world that make people look down on others with a dog's eye. It was my sister who didn't consider it carefully before. Take this card and swipe it casually. Black card. A supreme bank card with assets worth billions of yuan is eligible to be processed. This man dressed poorly is actually the younger brother of the famous CEO Su Qinyue. Now, the shop assistant finally understood what Chen Wei meant when he said, I can't afford it, but my sister can afford it. Miss Su, I am truly sorry for what happened. I sincerely apologize to both of you. As compensation, all your expenses in our store today are fully free of charge. The store manager quickly came out to apologize to Su Qinyue and Chen Wei. If we continue to observe, I won't be the proper store manager anymore. Feeling the cold gaze of the store manager towards him, the clerk stuttered, Store manager, I. What are you? Pack up your things and get lost. Chen Wei selected a few clothes that fit well. Although the store manager said they were fully free of charge, there was no need to take advantage of others and avoid discussing behind the scenes, which would smear Su Qinyue. A total of 230,000 yuan, thank you for Mr. Chen and Miss Su's patronage. The store manager handed the bank card back to Chen Wei with both hands. 23,000. Chen Wei was inevitably frightened by this price. Brother, I noticed that you look much more handsome when you dress up. Su Qingyue's eyes seemed to be twinkling with stars, and these words were definitely not deliberately praising Chen Wei, but from the bottom of her heart. If my sister likes it, this money is also worth spending. I like it, I really like it. Su Qingyue tightly hugged Chen Wei's arm. 
this younger brother really looked more and more pleasing to the eye. Later, under the leadership of Su Qinyue, he went to buy a gift for each of his three sisters. As the eldest sister, Su Qinyue is well versed in the preferences of several younger sisters. Once this gift is given, it will definitely add a lot of points. Seeing Su Qinyue for himself, with a big wave of his hand that would cost several million without even blinking his eyes, Chen Wei had a plan in his heart. Sister, wait for me here for a while, I'll go in and buy something, he said pharmacy. Okay, Su Qinyue couldn't figure out why Chen Wei went into the pharmacy and didn't even get his bank card. Quickly, Chen Wei came out of the pharmacy. Hand a small medicine box to Su Qinyue and say, Sister, your shoulders must be sore from sitting in the office all day, right? I have used this patch before and it works very well. My younger brother is not yet developed, so I can't give you any good gifts. I will make up for it when I become more developed in the future. Long Hu Pain Relieving Patch Su Qinyue stared for a long time, tears as big as beans dripping down. Sister, why are you crying? It's not like I gave you a gift too. No. I'm just too happy to have such a sensible little brother, Su Qinyue shook her head, hugged Chen Wei tightly, stepped on his feet and lightly kissed him on the forehead. Su Qinyue never expected that Chen Wei would consider such a situation. Sister, so many people are watching. Chen Wei blushed blush and felt embarrassed. What are you afraid of? I kiss my own brother, what's their business? If I don't accept it, go back and kiss my own brother, Su Qinyue said. Let's go home first, said Chen Wei, but he still found it a bit unbearable. Okay, I'll listen to you. Su Qinyue nodded obediently. On the car. Su Qinyue lifted the skirt strap, pulled her hair aside, and exposed a touch of white jade fragrance on her shoulders. She spoke, come, brother, help me stick it on, sister. Sister, you're forcing me to commit a crime. Even the female driver looked at it and swallowed saliva. There are sixty-six big shots who have collected this book, continue to seek collection and recommendation tickets, and use free recommendation tickets to smash me. It's a pity not to use them every day. Oh, oh, with motivation, we can continue to work hard to update. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Fourth Sister's Defense Plan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Fourth Sister's Defense Plan This patch is really effective. Her shoulders were warm and not as stiff as before, and Su Qinyue was very satisfied with this gift. Xiao Wei, why is your face so red? You probably have a fever, right? Su Qinyue turned her head to look at Chen Wei, unable to help but worry. No, maybe it's too hot, right? Chen Wei compared his hand to a fan, fanning himself with a cool breeze. Chen Wei felt very uncomfortable having such a sister who was not too attractive to him. Sister, help you open the window and blow less air conditioning, as it can cause headaches. Thank you, sister. Upon hearing these conversations, the female driver couldn't help but suppress her laughter. Becoming the younger brother of President Su, I wonder if it's a blessing or a torture. At the same time. In the Su family villa. In Su Mingye's room, she was dressed in red sportswear, crouching on a chair with a ponytail and a heat-dissipating patch on top of her head. Her ten fingers were quickly facing the keyboard, crackling and focused. At the edge of the eye sockets, there are clearly visible black circles, but even so, it still cannot conceal that fresh and refined temperament. Bang! At that moment, Su Yuming suddenly pushed open the door and burst in, Sister. Big Sister said she's going home with that man soon. Do you still have the heart to play computer games here? Su Yuming and Su Mengdai belong to two completely different styles. Wearing a jumpsuit pink pajama, the size is several times larger than the petite figure, loose and loose, but it actually adds a lot of cute points, and the double ball head is a bonus. Playing. I'm just working, okay. 
I finally got some inspiration and can write a few thousand words. Can you please don't disturb me? I beg you, Su Mengdai said without even looking at Su Yameng. Fingers still jumped rapidly on the keyboard, like an experienced dancer. Watching her typing seems to be a kind of enjoyment. Sister, I don't understand. You're already so famous. Writing two thousand words is more valuable than writing hundreds of thousands of words. Why bother spelling it like this? This question has been bothering Su Yameng for a long time. I don't know what others are like, but what I write deserves the love of readers, said Su Meng Dai. Okay, okay, I won't bother you anymore. I'll think of a defense plan myself and say nothing can let that man stay in our house. Su Yameng snorted lightly and closed the door. The eldest sister has already defected to the enemy, the second sister has been flying around both domestically and internationally all day, without time, and the third sister can't be relied on. Sai, as a younger sister, I am really tired. I have put in too much effort for this family, too much. Su Yameng deliberately said in a very mature tone. People say that cooking is bad for me, so I'll make a good table to entertain you. If you don't eat it, or if you feel it's bad, Su Yaming waved a spatula and chuckled, I'll file a lawsuit against everyone, saying you don't respect people. This word count. 20223, huh. Finally, I've finished writing, he said, tilting his body back, stretching lazily, lifting his clothes and revealing a snow.white belly, wait. What's the smell? Is it on fire? Su Mengdai frowned and realized something was wrong. She quickly opened the door and rushed out. Lying on the fence on the second floor, looking at the table that was dark and indescribable. Food. Su Mengdai breathed a sigh of relief and said, So it's not a fire, it's Yameng doing it. Wait, Yameng is cooking. Judging from her expression, it seems like something more frightening for her than a fire. Sister, have you finished writing? Coincidentally, I have also prepared this meal. Would you like to come down and have some together? Su Yaming smiled with a nuclear kindness. No, no need. I just came out to breathe some fresh air, I haven't finished writing yet. You eat it yourself, don't worry about me, I'm not hungry. Bang! Close the door and don't forget to lock it. Seeing this scene, Su Yaming not only did not get angry, but was also very happy, with a clear conspiracy on her face. The key turned and the sound of the door opening came in. Su Yaming quickly ran over. Sister, you're back. Yaming, why is your face and body so dirty? What's the smell? Su Qinwe lifted her chin slightly and sniffed. Sister, isn't there a guest here? I made a table of delicious food specifically for him. Su Yuming's gaze fell on Chen Wei, who looked decent and could score 85 points, but she was a bit thin and not strong enough. Food. Are you sure you're not trying to poison your brother? Su Qinyue frowned anxiously. Sister, did I always have this image in your heart? It's rare for me to work so hard to give you a long face, but you actually. I'm so sad. Act, you continue to act. Chen Wei stood on the side, quietly watching Su Yaming act. You are in front of me, and if you were your second sister, you would probably have to scold you again. It's okay if your acting skills are poor, don't show them off. Su Qinyue is not a fool. She has been a sister's with Su Yaming for so many years. You can tell what her idea is by looking at her face. Dot. Su Yaming. Are you really my sister? I shouldn't have been adopted, right? Sister, why do you always talk to outsiders? Su Yaming glared at Chen Wei fiercely as she spoke. What's it to me? I'm your sister, you're not adopted, you were picked up from the trash can, and... Su Qinyue said seriously, Xiao Wei is not an outsider. He is my younger brother, and also your younger brother. I don't have a younger brother, sister. You're so smart, can't you see that? 
he's just greedy for our family's money. If he's sent away for tens of millions, it's all over. Why should he be his younger brother? Su Yuming thought she saw through. Su Yuming, please pay attention to your words. Su Qinyue was really angry. You know you're ignoring outsiders. Su Yuming stomped her feet in anger, clenched her small pink fist, and turned around to run away. Xiao Wei, don't take it to heart. Yuming is still very kind, but suddenly she has such a younger brother and can't accept it all at once. Please give her some time. It's okay with me. Chen Wei was very grateful to Su Qinyue for being willing to take care of her mood. Ah, Yuming is no exception. Even though she doesn't have the talent for cooking, she still insists on cooking and wastes so much food in vain. Looking at the indescribable table, Su Qinyue raised her hand and helped her forehead, feeling a headache. What are you doing? At least it was specially made for me. It's a pity not to taste it. Don't. This is not something that can be eaten east. West. Su Qinyue wanted to stop, but it was already too late. Are you okay? Su Qinyue asked tentatively. It's okay, Chen Wei shook his head and forced a smile. It's just that the heat is too hot. If you can control the heat well, don't use sugar as salt or vinegar as soy sauce. If you add a little less, the taste should still be good. Are you really okay? I, sister, can I borrow the restroom? Here's the update, thank you to every expert for their recommended tickets and favorites. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Chef Brother You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Chef Brother, Xiao Wei, are you okay? Do you want to go see a doctor? Su Qinyue worried as she saw Chen Wei holding his stomach, hunching his waist, and his face covered in wax as he walked out of the bathroom, leaning against the wall. No, it's okay. It might be due to a lack of exercise and physical fitness not keeping up. Chen Wei waved his hand and asked Su Qinyue not to worry. Seeing her frowning and holding her phone, she asked, Sister, is something wrong? Isn't it that the nanny took leave and went home? I wanted to order takeout, but I don't know why. The nearby takeout suddenly stopped delivering, and the latest one will be in three hours. When will that happen? Su Qinyue explained. It seems that there is no one in this world who is 100% perfect. The Su family sisters can't cook. This actually made Chen Wei's inner balance quite a bit. Sister, is there any food left in the refrigerator? Chen Wei asked. Yes, there is. Su Qinyue knew the truth that poor people's children were already in charge. Chen Wei knew how to cook, and she was not surprised. But seeing Chen Wei's appearance with a weak buff, Su Qinyue couldn't help but worry. I'll do it, it's not convenient to go out in the middle of the night, Chen Wei volunteered and walked towards the kitchen. Okay, sister can help you. Su Qinyue knew she couldn't persuade Chen Wei, so she planned to help him share some of the burden. Sister, could you help me cut this potato? Chen Wei washed the potatoes and handed them to Su Qinyue. Oh. Okay. Su Qinyue quickly tied up her apron, took the potato from Chen Wei's hand, placed it flat in the center of the cutting board, and then took off the sharp knife, holding it in her hands. Bang! Cut it both ways. Those who know this are cutting vegetables, while those who don't think it's a war. In short, the momentum is good. Sister, we won't have curry today. Also, the potatoes need to be peeled first. Forget it, let me cut them. Can you help me peel the garlic and wash the vegetables? Hmm. Su Qinyue fully obeyed Chen Wei's command. Outside, she is the revered iceberg CEO, but at home, she is just a kitchen novice who doesn't even know how to peel potatoes. However, she has a chef brother. Wow. Xiao Wei, your knife technique is too sharp to cut so finely. Is garlic better peeled after being patted? Really? Xiao Wei, 
you know so much. Oh my goodness. Xiao Wei, you can still shake your spoon. Whoever wants to marry you in the future will definitely have good luck. From beginning to end, Su Qingyue's exclamation never stopped. This has greatly satisfied Chen Wei's vanity. Hot and sour shredded potatoes, fried pork with green peppers, spicy chicken, eggplant with minced pork, and meatball soup are served together. As for Su Yuming's masterpiece. Then Su Qingyue mercilessly poured it into the trash can. Chen Wei's cooking is called gourmet food, does she make it? Call it a biological weapon. Sister, why don't we deliver takeout? Is there anything else we can eat at home? At this moment, Su Mengdai finally couldn't bear her stomach growling and walked out of the room exhausted. What kind of takeout to eat? Xiao Wei made the meal, and tonight we have a good appetite. Su Qingyue remembered, by the way, let Yaman come down and eat together. This cheap little brother can even cook. Su Mengdai said somewhat unexpectedly. Cooking is no less important to her than boss levels in games. It's just that Su Mengdai is different from Su Yaming, she has a bit of luck. Dong. 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 Passing through Su Yuming's room, he stopped and knocked on the room, shouting, Yaming, come out to eat. I won't eat. Su Yuming's dragon roar came from inside the door. Why is this girl so angry when she's free? Su Mengdai didn't think much and turned around and went downstairs. Where's Yaming? Su Qingyue asked when she saw Su Mengdai come down alone. She said she's not hungry. Sitting in her seat and watching these four dishes and one soup, Su Mengdai's eyes lit up. It looks good, but I don't know how it tastes. Picking up chopsticks, picking up a few shredded potatoes, putting them in her mouth, and chewing them, Su Mengdai widened her eyes and looked at Chen Wei incredulously, muttering to herself, this little brother is fine. Then there is stir-fried meat with green peppers. The green peppers are cooked perfectly, crispy and delicious, paired with the softness of pork, making it a perfect match. Spicy chicken, because it has been marinated in advance, has a taste that is not just on the surface, fully absorbing the soup. It is spicy but not stimulating, making chopsticks irresistible. The eggplant juice is soft and rotten, like eating hot ice cream. The skin is slightly burnt, and the minced meat is equivalent to dried fruit, which is equally delicious. Finally, have another meat dot ball soup, life is so pleasant. Bang! The sound of footsteps came from the second floor. Aren't you not hungry? Su Qingyue joked. If you're not hungry in the previous second, who can decide what's going on in the next second? Su Yaming brought a bowl full of rice and sat next to Chen Wei. Before moving her chopsticks, she didn't forget to glare at him fiercely. It seems like telling Chen Wei that she has taken note of this grudge. This potato shred. Delicious. This minced meat and eggplant. Delicious. This spicy chicken. Still delicious. This meat dot ball soup is delicious. She's not a literati, why are she using so many adjectives? Simple and rough is most suitable. Sorry, I'll go use the restroom, Chen Wei put down his dishes and ran away. It's disgusting. I'm eating, Su Yaming said with a disdainful expression, feeling a bit disinterested. Who do you think caused it? Su Qingyue questioned. What's it to me? He can't be like this because he ate what I made, can he? Su Yaming chuckled. Dot. Seeing Su Qingyue's cold face, Su Yaming fell silent. But Ren stubbornly said, even fools can tell that what I make cannot be eaten. If he insists on eating, it only means he. Forget it. I'm full, go for a walk. Ah, uh, I don't know when this girl will grow up, Su Qingyue sighed as she saw Su Yaming walk out of the house. Sister, do you want this soup? If not, I'll mix the rice. Su Mengdai asked. You, mix it up. 
Hiccup, it can be seen that Su Meng Dai is at home and is a very carefree person. Su Qinyue seemed accustomed to this and gave her a cold glance. Sister, it's getting late too. I'll go to bed first. Tomorrow morning, I have to go to the editorial department to talk about publishing. Su Meng Dai sighed as she walked up the second floor. Okay, Su Qinyue agreed, Xiao Wei, why don't you sit and rest for a while? I'll wash the dishes. Then I'll trouble you, sister. Chen Wei felt a bit overwhelmed and wanted to lie down for a while. I caught sight of Su Meng Dai and heard her say, the cooking is good. Next time, I'll treat you to a big meal. Before Chen Wei could answer, Su Meng Dai had already closed the door. He is a swift and decisive person in the middle of the night, Chen Wei was sleeping soundly. Suddenly, I heard the sound of the door being opened, very softly. He remained silent, squinting his eyes and secretly observing. Judging from her height, it should be Su Yameng. She sneaks into a room at night, she probably hasn't given up yet have you left. Turn on the bedside lamp. I saw a medicine box on the bedside table, with four words written on it. Wei Tai Chong Ji. There are 192 book enthusiasts now, thank you for your support. Continue to collect and request recommended tickets. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Second Check-In. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Second Check-In, it seems that this person is not very bad either, Chen Wei said with a slight smile. After taking the medicine, my stomach really relaxed a lot and I could sleep well. Hey! Lazy little one, the sun is shining on your buttocks, getting up. Su Yuming's voice rang in her ear. Chen Wei hugged the blanket tightly, rolled over, and said in a daze, take a nap, let me sleep for another five minutes, just five minutes. Why sleep for five more minutes? Get up and cook quickly. Su Yuming grabbed a corner of the bed sheet and tugged fiercely. She was completely dumbfounded by this nonsense. Ah! A scream spread throughout the villa, and even the beautiful woman who was running outside the villa in the morning was so scared that she almost stumbled. Not to mention Chen Wei, who was so close, he felt that no matter how loud and loud Su Yuming's voice was, it could shatter his eardrums. What are you doing? You're shouting so loudly, Chen Wei said in silence. You, why don't you wear clothes? Su Yuming covered her eyes with one hand and pointed to Chen Wei with one finger. Occasionally, I would spread my fingers apart and observe Chen Wei through the gaps between my fingers. Oh my god! I didn't expect his figure to be so good. He has a bare waist and eight abdominal muscles that are perfectly proportioned, like those carved with a knife. It's very three-dimensional, and his chest muscles and biceps are even more solid. It doesn't make people think he's a muscle monster, and he's definitely Su Yuming's most ideal boyfriend figure. Just looking at it gives a strong sense of power. Who said I'm not wearing clothes? I'm not wearing shorts. It's a big surprise, Chen Wei pointed out. However, Su Yuming collapsed. Chen Wei looked down and suddenly felt a bit embarrassed, but what could he control? Take Su Yuming to bed quickly take a cold shower in the bathroom, calm down, and change into clothes. When Su Yuming came out, she was already gone. Do you want to sign in on the second day at this point, an option pops up in front of me. Yes. Successful check that I am, congratulations to the host for obtaining a Song God Quick Encyclopedia. Would you like to activate it? The God of Songs Rapid Encyclopedia sounds like a great thing, Rebirth copying songs is a must-have for travelers. With Chen Wei's understanding of the world of music here, casually bringing a classic song from Blue Star is enough to reach the pinnacle of existence. There is no reason not to activate. Activating. As the system spoke, Chen Wei suddenly felt unfamiliar memories flooding into his mind. Lyrics, that's right, it's just lyrics. The sky is blue, waiting for smoke and rain, while I am waiting for you. The smoke from the kitchen rises slowly, 
thousands of miles across the river. At the bottom of the bottle, I write the Hanli script, imitating the elegance of the previous dynasty. It's like a foreshadowing for me to meet you. I once dreamed of wielding a sword to travel far and wide, to see the prosperity of the world. My young heart was always a bit reckless, but now you live from all over the world. I have crossed mountains, rivers, and oceans, as well as mountains and seas of people. Everything I once had, in the blink of an eye, drifted away like smoke. Unlike before, now every song, every word, and every word, Chen Wei remembers them clearly and can easily hum them out. Chen Wei feels like he's getting angry. This song quickly became a treasure trove, not only making him remember thousands of songs, but also beautifying his voice with vicissitudes, ancient style, popularity. Effortless. System crosses. What good thing happened, laughing so happily. Su Qinyue curiously said when she saw Chen Wei coming down from the second floor. I used to wake up from a room the size of our bathroom, but now it's a villa, and I'm happy if it were me. Chen Wei knew at a glance that Su Yaming was still holding a grudge against the previous incident. Chen Wei is in a good mood now because of the check that I N reward and is too lazy to argue with Su Yaming. Holding on to Su Qingyue's shoulders, she sat down in a chair and said, Sister, please sit down and rest while I go make breakfast. Okay, I'll trouble you again. Always asking Chen Wei to help cook, Su Qingyue feels a bit embarrassed, but who made their Su family daughters lack cooking talent. It's okay, can I come down here? Below. You, don't go too far. Su Yaming got up excitedly, fingers pointing to Chen Wei, and her delicate body trembled. Yaming. Su Qingyue was obviously scared by her recent battle. After Su Yaming saw the noodles in Chen Wei's hand clearly, her little face turned so red that she could almost squeeze water out of it. She sat back in the chair and said, It's okay. By the way, third sister. After Chen Wei finished cooking the noodles, he was about to mention Su Mengdai. Unexpectedly, as soon as he turned around, he knew that he had already prepared for a big meal. Xiao Wei, your level below is really good. Su Qinyue gave a thumbs up and generously praised her. As for Su Mengdai. Although she didn't speak, it was the most delicious food she ate. Big sister, can you stop using the following word? Su Yameng said with some unbearable patience. Why? Su Qinyue didn't understand. Because. Su Yameng said to her lips and swallowed it back, forget it, it's okay. All right, hurry up and eat it. If you don't eat it again, the noodles will be lumpy, Su Qinyue reminded. I don't have an appetite. The day after tomorrow is the performance time for the campus cultural evening, but I haven't figured out the lyrics yet, Su Yameng said anxiously. What type? Chen Wei asked. A campus song written for third grade senior brothers and sisters, preferably. Su Yaming gave Chen Wei a displeased look and said, Why am I telling you all this? Can I still expect you to help me write songs? It's ridiculous. Do you recall tomorrow, the diary you wrote yesterday, and do you still remember tomorrow? You, who used to cry the most, teachers can no longer remember and can't guess the problem with you. I also happened to flip through photos, only then did I think of you at my desk. Who married the sentimental you, who read your diary, who curled up your long hair, and who made your wedding dress. The singing came to an abrupt end. Sing it. Why don't you continue singing? What song is this? Please tell me the title so that I can refer to it. Inspiration is coming, it's coming. Su Yaming exclaimed excitedly. Compared to Chen Wei's heavenly voice, Su Yaming is more interested in this lyrics. You at the same desk. After Chen Wei finished speaking, Su Yaming quickly took out her phone and searched. Then he cast a skeptical look at Chen Wei and said, Why didn't I find anything? Are you lying to me? I am the only one who can sing this song, you definitely can't find it online, Chen Wei Li said naturally. Only you can sing, 
Do you mean that you wrote this song? Su Yuming couldn't believe this fact. Is there a problem? Chen Wei asked back. Of course there are, how could someone like you write such good lyrics? You must be lying, you never told me the correct song title. Su Yuming snorted and laughed, thinking she saw through Chen Wei's trickery. Believe it or not, it's your business. Eat quickly. After finishing, I still have to wash the dishes and find a new job. Chen Wei kindly wanted to help Su Yuming, but who knew she was so ungrateful? 282 book enthusiasts have joined us. We are still seeking collection and recommendation tickets. We have received a signed website and will work hard to update it. We kindly ask everyone to cast more recommendation votes. I would like to push down the new book list and invite more book enthusiasts to join us. Thank you. End of this chapter. 8. Chapter 8 Go to his mother heroes and cherish each other. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 His mother heroes cherish each other. Eat noodles. Eat noodles. Su Yuming is too lazy to argue with Chen Wei. With that time, why not think of a few more words? This side. Su Yuming has stars in her eyes, accelerating her suction speed, delicious. Xiao Wei, if you're short of money, just talk to your sister and don't treat yourself like an outsider. It's not easy to find a job these days. Especially without a degree, Su Qinyue was worried that it might hurt Chen Wei's self-esteem, so she spoke very politely. Don't worry, sister. If I can't hold on, I'll tell you as soon as possible. Chen Wei comforted Su Qinyue, telling her not to worry. If even the system cannot survive, then Chen Wei's rebirth is really a waste of opportunity. Chen Wei's current plan is very simple. He wants to enter the music industry and dominate it. Let this world ignite a new wave of fashion. Okay, then you must act according to your abilities and not let your body overload. If that's not enough, come to my sister's company and work as her personal secretary. Su Qinyue said she wasn't worried, but she clenched her ten fingers tightly. Working as a secretary for the wealthiest sister is a good job. But Chen Wei is clear about his current role, unknown and powerless. He really needs to rely on Su Qingyue's relationship to get in, and he may not be able to make a name for himself. Chen Wei doesn't matter much, he has thick skin, but Su Qingyue is different. She is the darling of the media spotlight, and many people are paying attention to her. Even the slightest disturbance can be magnified infinitely, affecting the company in Su Qingyue's personal reputation. I understand, sister. Chen Wei nodded without directly responding to the second half of Su Qingyue's sentence. I worked as a secretary for my elder sister and earned tens of thousands of yuan a month, but this guy actually refused. Su Yuming couldn't understand what Chen Wei was thinking. Is it difficult for him to find a better job than this? Funny. After breakfast, Chen Wei is responsible for washing dishes. Xiao Wei, sister has gone to work. If you have any questions, feel free to contact her. Su Qinyue bent down and lifted her high heels, lifting her hair that was hanging from her ear and clipping it behind her ear. She perfectly outlined the S-dot-shaped curve. Okay. Sister, wait for me. Su Yuming's school and Su Qinyue stopped by and saw that the person had already left. They quickly put on their shoes and chased after each other. And Su Mengdai quietly returned to her room, starting a new day of coding work after Chen Wei finished washing the dishes, he also took off his gear and left the villa. Step out of the villa area and hail a taxi by the roadside. Master, go to Guanghui Entertainment Company. Seven or eight minutes later. Chen Wei got off the car and looked at the hundred-story glass building in front of him, not to mention its grandeur. It truly deserves to be a top entertainment company in the summer. His second sister Su Meiyu is the first sister of Guanghui Entertainment. Chen Wei does not intend to rely on Su Meiyu's fame or connections to gain upper hand, but only values the resources of Guanghui Entertainment. With the lyrics in his mind, 
fans will catch up with Su Meiyu, sooner or later. Songs are different from movies and TV dramas, they spread more widely and quickly. Sorry, you can't go in. The security guard stopped Chen Wei without a work permit. I'm here to sign up for the singer competition, Chen Wei explained, hoping that the security guard could turn a blind eye. If you want to participate in the singer competition, you can register online. After successful registration, you will receive an electronic certificate, and then you can enter, the security guard explained. This year, I've seen many fans like Chen Wei who want to get in under the guise of participating, paparazzi. Security Guards Upon hearing the singing in his ear, Chen Wei turned his gaze to see that he was a selling singer. Selling singing is fake, seeking bowl is true. Chen Wei walked over and said, Brother, I'll give you 100. Can you lend me the equipment to sing a song? Chen Wei doesn't need to prove anything to the security guard, but to prove to the people in that building that he is qualified to enter the competition. No, it's strength. Okay. That person has been singing for a few hours and can't move anymore. They just want to take a break and pick up a hundred for free. Why not? People like Chen Wei give him a feeling of hero cherishing each other, and it's not easy to pursue their dreams. Sitting on the chair, adjusting the height of the microphone, holding the guitar, it looks quite stylish. Hey! There's another newcomer here. I really don't understand what these people are insisting on. Are celebrities so easy to become? However, he looks pretty good. If he's packaged, he should be able to catch fire. On the seventh floor, the appearance of Chen Wei caught the attention of a few people. The sound of the guitar was heard. It's quite interesting, I haven't heard of it before. You are snowing heavily in the bright sun of the south, and I am like spring all year round in the cold night of the north. If I had time before dark, I would have forgotten your eyes. I can't finish a dream in my poor life. Damn it. The little girl by the window was so surprised that her coffee cup fell to the ground and spilled all over. Sisters, come here and have a look. It's a talent. Where can I go to clean the coffee stains? The lady by the window turned around and found that the window was already full of people. South Mountain South, North Autumn is sad, South Mountain has valleys, South Wind is murmuring, North Sea North, North Sea has tombstones, North Sea has tombstones. After singing the lyrics, when Chen Wei opened his eyes, everyone in front of him was already crowded, taking out their phones and recording. At the next moment, applause thundered and everyone was shouting, Let's do it again. What song is this? How come I've never heard of it before? I have a premonition that he will get angry. Hurry up, go and notify Sister Yen. Sister Yen. Sister Yen has already gone down. Has it already gone down? It's truly Yen Jie's speed. Thank you all for liking it, but I promised someone else to sing only one song, Chen Wei said as he handed the guitar back to the passerby singer under the lingering gaze of everyone. Dot. Heroes cherish each other. Go to his mother heroes to cherish each other, this is clearly to ruin the scene. You king, why come to our bronze rank to commit massacres said the passerby singer in silence. How should Chen Wei sing when he sings like this? Sorry, sorry. Chen Wei clasped his hands together and had a sincere attitude. He thought he had the most diamonds, but he didn't expect to be a king. Sigh. The passerby singer let out a long sigh and began packing up, I'd better switch to an entertainment company. He has learned his lesson and can no longer lend equipment to others casually in the future. A hundred yuan smashed my rice bowl, not suitable, not suitable, hello, I am Song Yenner, the planner of the singer competition at Starlight Entertainment. I would like to invite you to participate in the competition. I'm not sure if there is a chance for this collaboration. Song Yenner walked up to Chen Wei, reached out her hand, smiled slightly, although formulaic, it did not hinder others from appreciating her beauty. I am honored, Chen Wei politely extended his hand, all of which were in his plan. When we said goodbye, 
the security guard leaned down slightly and pushed the glass door open first. Thank you all, big shots. When you wake up, there are many recommended tickets. Keep working hard to update and continue seeking them. Here is an update, hoping everyone enjoys it. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Made Headlines You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Made Headlines at Nanjing University, Su Yaman was alone in the activity room, staring at the sky in a daze with her mouth and pen. Half a day has passed, and she still hasn't come up with a single line of lyrics. On the paper, there is a blank space. The phone rings. Note the second sister. Hello, second sister, have you found out who wrote that song? Su Yuming quickly answered the phone and exclaimed excitedly. On the one hand, it is exciting for the lyrics to fall into place, and on the other hand, it is able to effectively counterattack and shatter Chen Wei's false lies. A voice of negation came from the other end of the phone, I have used all my connections and have not found any information related to this lyric. It is true that it has never appeared in the music industry. How could it be? Yaman, where did you hear this lyrics? Obviously, Su Mei Yu also became interested in it. Sister, I also forgot. When I remember, I will definitely contact you. The student union has something else to do, so I'll hang up first. Goodbye. Su Yaman hung up the phone and now she just wants to ask Chen Wei for clarification. As I walked out of the activity room door, I heard bursts of singing in my ears. You are snowing heavily in the bright sun of the south, and I am like spring all year round in the cold night of the north. If I had time before dark, I would have forgotten your eyes. I can't finish a dream in my poor life. How about it, Yaman? Is this song good? My friend Wang Jia leaned over and asked as Su Yaman came out of the activity room. Ah. Su Yaman realized that she had just been completely immersed in the singing. Very infectious. The lyrics are good and the singing is also good, but the voice sounds a bit familiar. Wang Jia, who sang this song? Su Yaman asked after her. I don't know, like a passerby singer, they've all gone crazy on their social media, Wang Jia replied. Moments. Do you have any videos? Show me, Su Yaming reached out and said. Okay, I'll find it for you. Wang Jia took out his phone and rummaged through it. I found it. I found it. Su Yaming took her phone and was stunned and she saw clearly what the person holding a guitar and singing passionately looked like in the video. It's him. Although there is already a vague answer in the mind, when the answer becomes clear, it still makes people feel a bit difficult to accept. She was slapped in the face, and she was slapped hard. That cheap little brother, he has the aura of a singing god. Those two lines of lyrics in the morning are already stunning enough, come again. Glorious entertainment. Chen Wei sat in the office and quickly got up when he saw Song Yenner coming back. This little guy is really cute enough, like a frightened rabbit. Don't be so restrained, sit down. Song Yenner pressed her hand and asked, Tea or coffee? Tea will do. Chen Wei sat back in his seat. As Song Yenner brewed her tea bag, she said, Your application for the competition has been settled. In half an hour, you can go and participate in the recording. It will start broadcasting at 9 p.m. tonight. I have a premonition that your name will appear on the headline chart tomorrow. Thank you for planning, Song. Chen Wei took the teacup. I'm older than you, just call me, Yenjia, if you're like them. Song's plan doesn't sound good. Okay, Sister Yen. The more you look at this guy, the more pleasing it becomes to you, Song Yenner said. You can take a break first. Just let me know if you need anything. I have something to deal with, and I'll come back and take you to record later. Okay, Chen Wei nodded in response. Seeing Song Yenner come out of the office, the assistant quickly leaned over and said, Yenjia, your judgment is wrong. Oh. What's wrong? 
Song Yenner asked curiously. You said he would make the headlines tomorrow, but he's already on it now, and he's in ninth place. What? Song Yenner's face was surprised as she quickly took out her phone and opened the headline chart. Glancing down. 9. A passerby singer who has gone viral on social media. Click in, it's really about Chen Wei. As a pure newcomer, being able to make headlines in just half a day is enough to prove his potential. This slap made Song Yenner very comfortable, she found a treasure. At 7 o'clock in the evening. It's been tough. Song Yenner leaned against the car and saw Chen Wei coming out of the company. She took the initiative to step up and handed him the hot milk tea in her hand. Thank you, Sister Yen. I have to admit that Chen Wei was quite nervous when facing the camera and so many viewers on stage for the first time. Song Yenner's cup of milk tea can be said to be a godsend in the snow. Going home. Song Yenner immediately asked. Hmm. Let me see you off. In the end, Chen Weishir couldn't refuse Song Yenner's kindness and understood that she was trying to catch him, so he didn't refuse again. Surprisingly, there are not many talented people among the wealthy second dot generation who live in such a place. After the car stopped, Song Yenner was slightly surprised. Thank you, Sister Yen, be careful on the way. Chen Wei got off the car. Okay, Song Yenner put her hand back into the car and walked away. Who is she? Chen Wei just turned around and saw Su Qingyue's face, so close that he could clearly hear and sense each other's breathing. The leader of the company, Chen Wei answered truthfully. On the first day of work, a female leader personally drove her home. Xiao Wei, it's okay. Su Qingyue pondered in her eyes. Cough cough, sister, don't think too much. He's just kind-hearted. Okay, okay, sister, don't think too much. Let's go in and have dinner. Su Qingyue walked around behind Chen Wei and gently pushed him in. Eating. Who made the food? Su Yuming's cooking skills clearly left a significant legacy for Chen Wei. Ordered takeout. Upon hearing Su Qingyue's words, Chen Wei felt relieved. From the moment he entered the door, Chen Wei instantly felt Su Yuming's gaze towards him. Chen Wei couldn't imagine where he offended him again. Why don't you see third sister? She just came down to take a look and said she wasn't hungry, so she went back to her room, Su Qingyue replied. Chen Wei, did you really write those two lyrics before? Su Yuming finally couldn't hold back and asked. Why are you ignoring me? I said you don't believe it, why waste your saliva? Chen Wei asked in response. Did you go to the street to sing today? Sing. As soon as Su Yuming finished speaking, Su Qingyue stood up immediately. It's not that I find Chen Wei embarrassing, but rather that it's not easy to sing and sometimes I have to face ridicule from others. Xiao Wei, you should come to my sister's company tomorrow and work as her secretary, Su Qingyue sat back in her seat. Sister, I have already found a job. Do you sell singing? No, if you participate in the competition, you can win 1 million yuan in prize money, Chen Wei shook his head and explained. What competition? Su Qingyue asked. Singer competition. Singer competition. Don't brag, the assessment system for that competition is very strict, definitely not half like you. Su Yuming closed her mouth as if she had thought of something. Does Sanging really see off his wife? I have signed a contract. Please cast a recommendation vote every day to push through the new book list. If you have any results, updates are absolutely necessary. Thank you. End of this chapter. 10. Chapter 10. Not Pulling Down with Kiss. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10. Not Pulling Down with Kiss Half-Hearted. If Chen Wei's level is considered mediocre, how can other singers survive? So Su Yuming changed her expression and said, Did you really participate in the singer competition? 
shouldn't you just show off to others after successfully registering and being notified to participate in the audition? Audition. What is that? Seeing Chen Wei's puzzled expression, Su Yaming supported her forehead, feeling a bit headache. This guy was indeed bragging about everything. If you want to participate in the official competition of the Singer Championship, you have to go through the audition, just like playing a game, you have to advance through each level, explained Su Yaming. Oh, Chen Wei agreed and explained, that's not true. I participated in the official recording directly and it will be broadcasted later. Official recording. Don't be joking. South Mountain South, North Autumn Sadness, South Mountain Valley DUI, South Wind Whispering, North Sea North, North Sea Tombstone, North Sea Tombstone. On stage, there was no dance accompaniment, no flashy lighting, only a beam of unaffected white light shining on a person, a chair, a microphone, and a guitar. Dot. For Su Yaming, this slap on the face came a bit too quickly and caught her off guard. Laugh. She can't stand it anymore, she even feels a bit like crying. Chen Wei, you wrote that song before, right? Just tell me directly, no matter what the answer is, I will believe it. Su Yaming leaned closer to Chen Wei, wearing a small vest that slipped slightly. I didn't write it. Chen Wei quickly averted his gaze. He didn't think Su Yaming was the kind of girl who would play tricks on her. Even though it was written by you, I have had my second sister investigate. She has never heard of it in the circle, Su Yaming said excitedly. You see, you are indeed lying. You just told me that no matter what the answer is, you will believe it. If you don't say it, then don't say it. Who cares? Su Yaming snorted lightly and turned around before leaving. Fortunately, Chen Wei flashed fast enough, otherwise he would definitely have been slapped in the face by those ponytails. I didn't expect these ponytails to look so cute, but they actually hide hidden dangers. Chen Wei patted his chest and joked to himself. It seems that our family is going to produce two big stars. Upon hearing Su Qingyue's words, Chen Wei Qian humbly responded, I will continue to work hard. Seeing Su Qingyue rubbing her shoulders, Chen Wei asked with concern, Sister, is it starting to hurt again? Thanks to the ointment you bought me before, it doesn't hurt as much now as before, Su Qingyue said with an expression that didn't seem to be okay. Sister, let me give you a press. Although the technique may not be very advanced, it should be able to relieve some discomfort, Chen Wei said as he walked around behind the sofa. Okay, please. Su Qingyue simply curled up her hair, revealing her flawless white neck. Chen Wei placed his hand on Su Qingyue's shoulder and began massaging her. He bent down to confirm, Sister, is this strength okay? Well, that's just right. Su Qingyue closed her eyes slightly, pursed her lips, and looked like she was enjoying it. Chen Wei's current situation is somewhat awkward. His fingers are very slender, and if not controlled properly, it is easy to touch places that should not be touched. Several times, we encountered the edge of the minefield, but Su Qingyue didn't say anything. All right, that's it, I feel much more comfortable. Su Qingyue placed her hand on Chen Wei's and looked up at her, her pretty face blushing. Okay, Chen Wei withdrew his hand. You should go to bed early and rehearse very hard. Don't tire yourself out, Su Qingyue stood up and reminded her before leaving. Well, I got it. Seeing Su Qingyue closing the door, Chen Wei looked at his ten fingers with some disdain and murmured, she shouldn't ask me for a massage again, will she? As he passed by Su Mengye's room, Chen Wei could vaguely hear his own singing coming from inside. I didn't think much, maybe someone is watching the replay of the singer championship. Returning to the room, Chen Wei used to not love sleeping, but now he loves it. Just waking up and signing in is not an opportunity that everyone can have. Shu, don't make a sound, it's me. As soon as Chen Wei opened the door and entered the room, he was stepped on by Su Yaming, his body pressed against his chest, and he covered his mouth with his hands. Chen Wei took her hand away and said in silence, Did I make a sound? 
you just cover it up. Ah. Uh. Su Yuming realized something was wrong and blushed with embarrassment, taking a few steps back. I knew I shouldn't have watched so many TV dramas. Come on, what are you doing in my room? Chen Wei sat on the bed and went straight to the topic. I, I went to the wrong room, yes, yes. I just went to the wrong room, Su Yuming raised her hand and a flash of inspiration flashed. Oh, then you go out, I'm going to sleep. Chen Wei took off his shoes, covered himself with a blanket, and really planned to sleep until dawn. Chen Wei, actually I didn't walk into the wrong room. I want to ask you to lend me the lyrics from the previous song to use. Su Yuming released the door handle, turned around, and confessed. You also beg me sometimes. Chen Wei now feels relieved. Lend it to you. How do you plan to repay it to me afterwards? Chen Wei chuckled and deliberately imitated Su Yuming. Then I can give you money, and you can sell me the copyright, okay? Su Yuming suggested. Not much. So what do you want? Su Yuming said impatiently. Just give me a kiss and I'll lend it to you. Chen Wei deliberately made things difficult, wanting revenge. Who would make this girl always go against him on weekdays? Ah. Chen Wei, don't go too far. Love to kiss, don't kiss, don't pull me down. I fell asleep. When you go out, remember to close the door for me, Chen Wei turned over and said. Not long. The sound of sobs echoed in my ears. Holy crap is that all for now. Chen Wei remained motionless like a mountain. My classmates bully me at school, and even you bully me at home. I just make you hate me that much. This vibrato doesn't seem to be faked. Chen Wei turned around and found that Su Yuming had already burst into tears, wiping the tears from the breach with the back of her hand. I'm joking with you, don't cry, Chen Wei quickly got out of bed and comforted. If Su Qinyue and the others knew about this, they might have misunderstood. What did they do to Su Yuming? Lend it to you, can't I still lend it to you? The kind that doesn't need to be repaid, Chen Wei compromised. Really? Su Yuming raised a pair of watery eyes and looked at Chen Wei, confirming. Really, absolutely true. Chen Wei Fa said, no, it's an oath. All right, all right, stop crying and wipe your tears. Chen Wei took out a tissue. I'll do it myself. By the way, you just said, what's wrong with someone bullying you at school? Chen Wei pursued. Anyway, Su Yuming can also be considered half of her sister. She doesn't look at the monk's face and looks at the Buddha's face. This matter cannot be casually handled. It's nothing, I'm just talking nonsense. If you don't say it, I'll go back on my word. It's no use crying. The second one is for collection and recommendation. I want to make it to the new book list. Is it because my kneeling position is incorrect? End of this chapter.